Have you ever wanted to unravel, send an army of threadlings, weaken and suppress every target in sight, all while having constant healing, invisibility, and make so many orbs that your fire team literally begs you to run that one build? My name is D2 Nova, and if you said yes, then boy oh boy do I have a build for you. I took this build into a no mic LFG of the weekly Grandmaster Nightfall, birthplace of the Vile, and the results were astounding. I was able to generate almost five times more orbs than both of my teammates combined. This Void Hunter build is centered around one of the most slept on exotics in the game, the Radiant Dance Machines, whose perk states, Activating your dodge ability while near targets allows you to dodge additional times for a short period. Defeating targets extends the duration of the additional dodge. More specifically, you can activate your dodge ability within 15 meters of targets and get 6 seconds of infinite dodges. However, kills while this buff is active extends the timer by 5 seconds, with a maximum timer of 11 seconds. This allows us to chain infinite dodges as long as we are able to keep defeating enemies. We then pair this with our first aspect, Vanishing Step, which grants us invisibility when we activate our dodge. We can easily loop this by dodging near enemies, defeating a target, dodging, defeating a target, and so on. What most people fail to realize is that all dodges after the initial one do not need to be near an enemy. So in a high-end content setting, such as GMs, our second aspect, Trapper's Ambush, allows us to invis into a fight, dodge to pack a multi-dodge buff, defeat a target, and repeat. For our fragments, we use Echo of Starvation, which grants us Devour on Orb Pickup. Recently, Devour got a nerf, but it's still extremely strong. Upon defeating targets with any weapon or ability, we gain 100 HP of health, grenade energy, and our Devour timer is increased. Next up, we have Echo of Persistence, which increases the duration of our Devour and Invisibility buffs. In our third slot, we run Echo of Harvest, which states defeating a weakened target creates an Orb of Power and a Void Breach. Void Breaches can be picked up if you need to recharge your dodge. Finally, we have Echo of Undermining, which enables our Void Grenades to weaken targets. These aspects and fragments will allow us to constantly make orbs, which then feeds into our exotic weapon of choice, Quicksilver Storm. While there are many different weapons that would work phenomenally with this build, Quicksilver Storm allows us to do great burst damage with its grenade launcher firing mode. However, the real strength in this weapon choice is in the Seasonal Artifact mods Unraveling Orbs, which grants our Strand Weapons Unraveling Rounds upon Orb Pickup, and Horde Scuttle, which allows us to occasionally spawn Threadlings when damaging unraveled targets. This means that any time we pick up an orb, which will be quite frequently, we can easily spread Unravel and Threadlings everywhere. For our abilities, we want to run Marksman Dodge, which reloads weapons upon dodging. It also has a lower cooldown, so if we ever need to pull back, we can get back into the fight quicker. The jump selection is up to you. I recommend Triple Jump. We only have one melee choice, the Snare Bomb, which can be used to weaken targets for orbs, or as another source of invisibility. For our grenade, I recommend Suppressor Grenade. You will constantly be able to suppress enemies thanks to the increased grenade regeneration we get from Devour. For our stats, we want to prioritize Resilience, Discipline, and Mobility, in that order. Recovery is a dump stat as we regain our health from Devour. For helmet mods, you absolutely want Strand Siphon, and I opted for a copy of Ashes to Assets and a Void Siphon. For arms, we want Firepower for more orbs, Bolstering Detonation, and Fastball. Chess mods are up to you, though in high-end content, you should definitely equip the resist mods matching the incoming burn. On your boots, I recommend one copy of Recuperation, one copy of Innervation, and a Strand Weapon Surge. Finally, and most importantly, we want to run Powerful Attraction on the Cloak. This will allow us to dodge near an orb to pick it up, thus instantly granting us health, devour, grenade energy, and unraveling rounds. Spread the Unravel debuff onto as many targets as possible with Quicksilver, dodge to reload, and destroy everything. I also recommend running a copy of Reaper and Bomber. Reaper unfortunately does not give you an orb after kills from Radiant Dance Machine dodges, however it is an easy way to get the first orb to drop, thus starting the gameplay loop. The other two weapons are up to you. In the gameplay shown, I ran a bow to stun Unstoppables and a rocket for burst damage. 
This build is both a ton of fun and, as shown in the gameplay, viable in any level of content in the game. If you'd like to try it out, the dim link is in the description. On your way there, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all future videos. Comment down below if you have any questions or video requests. And with that, I am D2Nova. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day. Peace.